Okay, honestly, I have no idea how to begin with. I was just looking for some new, interesting SD and microSD memory cards for our regular testing and discovered some real questionable 40 products, so stay tuned. <laughs> Let me start like this. How do I end up in all this mess research analysis? So I do review a lot of tech products, especially accessories. And therefore, usually once a year, I do kind of a market comparison, market overview. So which products are its best, best price performance, worth whatsoever. So how to select the samples you test. Um, there are different ways. Obviously, speaking about memory cards in this case, you know the big brands like Sandisk, Lexa, Samsung and other brands. You check out their websites, I get press releases, so that's easy. But sometimes there are new companies, interesting companies, so how to find them. One way I use, and probably a lot of other journalists out there, just check out the bestseller list on Amazon, AliExpress and some other big marketplaces so you have an idea what kind of products are in high demand. So maybe that's an interesting product to test as well. And not just last month, but I think six months ago, it was the first time I stumbled across a company called Gigastone. But it was like, you know, one or two memory cards in the top 100. So it was like, yeah, yeah some no-name brand. But a couple of weeks ago, it was like six, seven, eight micro SD cards in the top 100 micro SD best-selling list on Amazon. That's a lot, even more than real traditional brands like Alexa or Kingston. So a company I should have a look on. And that's when the struggle began. But there's, a, let's say, a little foundation you need to know about, yeah, SD memory cards, speed classes and all that stuff. I know it's a bit dry and technical, but please stay focused because as mentioned, it's the foundation of the rest of the video and the entire story, basically. It's all about the V90 logo. You can see here in the top and now that's not an SD memory card from Gigastone. It's from Next Origin, new Japanese yeah, supplier manufacturer for memory cards, but it's you know, just a package I had here. So V90, what does it stand for? It's a video speed class and just mean that each memory card with the V90 logo, V90 certification, is capable of writing at least, and that's important, at least 90 megabytes per second until the card is almost filled, like 90, 95-ish percent full. So let's say you are taking a video and therefore it's important your camera can rely on a minimum write speed of the card. So let's say 90 megabytes per second, 720 megabit per second. Your camera can continuously write 720 megabits per second until the card is full. So I don't know, one hour, two hour, four hour video recording, the card is supposed to never stop or going below 90 megabytes per second. So the camera doesn't have to stop recording. So if you want to shoot high quality video, V90 speed class is really, really important that you can rely on it. So your video recording won't stop. That's basically about it. There's one caveat or requirement. Each V90 memory card or also V60 memory card must have an UHS2 interface. That's memory cards with two contact rows on the back. Theoretically also UHS3 is fine, but as of recording this video, there's no UHS3 memory card or camera, so we can focus on UHS2. The problem is Gigastone is selling both V90 and V60 SD memory cards with an UHS1 interface. So according to everything I know, that's impossible. So I checked again the 
simplified physical layer specification from the SD card association. That's the association behind SD memory cards responsible for standardizing you know, from how big a card is so in terms of dimensions, how does all the protocols work, and therefore also the video speed classes, UHS-1, 2, and all this kind of stuff. And it's 339 pages, really interesting, you know, boring stuff, you know, a lot of diagrams and how all this stuff works, but also some easy to understand graphs like this one, so really clear. UHS-2, UHS-3 is needed for V60 and V90 speed class. And I also get in touch with the SD card association, asked again, so is it right that you need it? And the answer was clear. Yes, you can only get V60 and V90 speed class combined with UHS-2 or UHS-3 if it's ever gonna happen. Okay, relax, lay back. There must be an error on my side, right? I mean, it, it sounds totally silly and over the top. A stock listed company from Taiwan selling fraudulent products on purpose? That can't be right. So, you know, if you're on eBay and other online marketplaces, it's, it's really, really easy to get fraudulent SD memory cards. It's a not trustworthy seller and you get, I don't know, faked sizes or capacities, meaning it's printed on it's one terabyte and also your PC indicating, yeah, it is one terabyte, but if you're actually checking it, it's, I don't know, maybe 64 gigabytes and the rest is like wing recording and if you try to save more than uh, more than 64 gigabyte, it starts deleting at the front and writing over it. So it's really, really easy to, to get faked SD memory cards. So I looked for the official Gigastone website, contact their team, and was just saying, you know, I just want to buy an original Gigastone product. I found this Amazon Marketplace seller. Is this the official representation for your products? So I can rest assured if I buy that stuff. And to be fair, they answered within, I don't know, eight or 12 hours. So it was quite a fast response and say, yeah, yeah, you can rest assured that's the official shop and it's also shipped from Amazon warehouse. So everything is fine. So I did. Gigason is offering four different cards, two micro SD and SD memory cards each. V60 and V90 videos speed class each. If you want to have a look for yourself, all four products are linked in the video description, but it's really important. It's not a purchase recommendation. So just for having a look on these four memory cards, but please, 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 please don't ever buy these four memory cards from Gigastone. So we arrived at the last point where it could end well, you know, Somebody in marketing had a mix up, wrote in the spec sheet UHS-1 instead of UHS-2. And therefore another guy or girl used the wrong logo and it ended up with maybe a pretty decent SD memory card, a fast SD memory card for a really low price. But honestly, it's 2023. So if you want to have a happy ending, just go into the next cinema. Yeah. So unpack the SD card, but it's the same for the micro SD memory card. Everything looked fine so far, you know, nothing fishy like, yeah, totally off brand logos whatsoever. So that's the card from Gigastone, you know, V90 speed class and on the back, oopsie doo, it's just an UHS-1 SD memory card. Just for comparison again, on this side an EHS2 memory card with two contact rows and here's a Gigastone card with one contact row. So as already mentioned, in theory not capable of doing either V60 or V90 video speed class. But let's test both cards, so I did as well. Just playing on the card reader on our brand new memory card or storage test system just right behind. And we could achieve 70 to 90 megabytes per second. So it's not in theory enough and not even in best case scenario on a card reader. And it was yeah nearly the same result with other card readers. So no, absolutely no for V90 speed class. 
and for the micro SD card as well, it's a bit higher, 80 to 120 megabytes per second, but it's like a proprietary standard if you want for UHS-1 memory cards where you can push the theoretical limit of 104 megabytes per second to up to 180, 200 megabytes per second. But yeah, as mentioned, it's a proprietary standard or protocol that it's used and no camera out there has this protocol activated. And therefore, if you're using a yeah, traditional UHS-1 memory card reader, it's even slower speeds. So, according to the SD card association, the product isn't possible as marketed or as sold. According to my first test, it's not easier. So, the final test with the Sony Alpha 7 IV. And why did I pick this camera? It's one of the very modern cameras out there requiring V90's video speed class for certain types of recording and it's up to 600 megabytes per second, uh, 600 megabits per second obviously and therefore you really need V90 video speed class. So I put both memory cards in and was just curious, you know, maybe it would up a couple of seconds but no. Sony is checking whether it is a V90 memory card or not. And if it's like a Gigastone card, which is supposed to be a V90 card, but obviously it is not, the camera is just showing an error message like, you know, my friend, it's a lot, but definitely not a V90 memory card. So you can't record this type of video. The last point on my research checklist who is actually producing those memory cards? And some of you will immediately, immediately interrupt and say, isn't it obvious that it's Gigastone card, so Gigastone is producing it? No, that's not how the industry works anymore and maybe never did. Fortunately, the SD card association, or to be more precise, the SD licensing organization has an online website where you can just check who is officially allowed to produce SD memory cards. There are some known manufacturers, you know, like SanDisk, Yoxia, former Toshiba memory, Panasonic, Samsung, Adata, you know, some brands you maybe know. Some OEMs that you may know if you're a little bit more in the tech industry, like Fison, which is, which is actually producing, let's say, like 70-ish percent of all yeah, better high-performance UHS-2 memory cards, like Angelbird, ProGrade cards, some Delkin cards as well, Sony, Sony Tough Series, for example, is also from Fison. So it's a really, really big OEM. Some other names you definitely never heard of before, but they are related to known brands like Geltech, which is, yeah, in some way related to Transcend, or Longsys, that's the new owner of the Alexa brand from China. So those companies are also well known in one way or another. So I read out the so-called CID, that's the card identification number, which is written in every memory card containing some very basic information like the OEM ID the serial number and when the card is produced. So that's basically, that's what in the CID. And for the SD card, it's nothing too special. It's a manufacturer I never heard of before, but the manufacturer is definitely in the list. So that seems to be okay. Unfortunately, it's a real B2B producer. So I couldn't even find the company on Google or other search engines. So yeah, that's where the research ended for the SD card and also for the micro SD card, which seems even more fishy. The first six digits are one, two, three, four, five, six. What is also the weakest password you could choose is also the beginning of the CRD. So like the last indicator that we are dealing here with an fake fraudulent whatever SD memory card. So it looks really, really fishy. So what's the end of the story? Obviously I contacted Gigastone with all my research. Unfortunately, as of taping this video, they didn't reply. 
but there is also a written article about the story. So once, or well, let's say if we receive an update or a statement from Gigastone, we will publish it there. As I'm not the owner of the licenses, I can go to Amazon and other stores and say, you know, this card looks fishy, please remove it from your store. So, and also, finally, I don't know if it is like it is, but I'm 99% sure that these cards are fake, fraudulent. You don't get what you pay for, basically. So, the thing I could do Fortunately, is contacting the SD3C LLC. That's the organization responsible for licensing. You know, the CLA agreement, if you're licensed to produce cards, it's also the same association or company responsible for, you know, getting faked or fraudulent cards out of the market, working together with customs, you know, all the kind of stuff. So I get in touch with them as well. Send in the four, let's say, questionable SD memory cards, you know, V60, V90, all the kind of stuff. And also, unfortunately, as of taping this video, they didn't have a full reply, but they replied within, I don't know, 30 or 60 minutes, like, okay, thank you so much. Uh, we will have a look on it, but please give us some more time to investigate. But until then, we also have to wait what will come out. If you want to have a follow-up for the story, please, please, please consider to subscribe. So I will definitely post another video if there is development like statements from the SD3C LLC or, you know, Gigastone saying, ooh, there was a big whatever hiccup to explain, <laughs> putting, putting four memory card on purpose out of the market. Or maybe it is a faked storefront even I really try to make it waterproof that it is the official one you know there are some ways it can turn out but either way it will be really interesting so as I mentioned consider to subscribe so you will receive a follow-up or if you want to support this channel just spread the word and thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye